John 3.16 For this is the way God loved the world. He gave his one and only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him will not perish, but will have eternal life, that is, life in the coming age. John 3.16 is one of the most quoted verses by Christians. Unfortunately, most Christians miss all the truths that are wrapped up in this single verse. We can get full understanding about the Bible and God's plan in this one verse. Number one, it tells us about God. Number two, about the only begotten Son, Jesus. Number three, that everyone who believes has hope. It means it's a choice. Number four, there are two options for humans, destruction or life. And number five, the kingdom hope. John 3.16 on God. God loves you and gives you a choice to believe in his son. That is, to believe what Jesus taught, not that he simply exists. God gave his son. The son is not God. God gave and the son was given. God doesn't want anyone to perish or be destroyed. He provided the way to life, but you must choose to go that way or not. John 3.16 on Jesus. Jesus was God's only begotten Son. The Greek in Bible Hub explains to us that the only begotten Son means that it is the one and only offspring of God. He's a one of a kind, the only one in his class or of his kind. Jesus was God's only Son, his one and only unique offspring. Jesus was procreated. The Father God was the one procreating. You can't be or do both. Either you are procreated or you are the procreator. John 3.16 on choice. Whoever believes or everyone who believes, depends on which version you read. Number one, whosoever means everyone who will believe, meaning that all have a choice whether or not to believe. That means everyone, and there is no predestination. Number two, God loves you and gives you a choice to believe in his son. Believe what Jesus taught, not just that he existed or died for you. Belief requires obedience. John 3.16, on life or death. God gives humans two choices. You can either live forever in his coming kingdom, or you can be destroyed. That means dead forever. Perish equals destruction, not some eternal hell that many churches teach. Eternal life is life in the coming age when Jesus returns. Perish means complete and utter destruction. Eternal life means life in the coming age, God's kingdom age. God hopes that you will choose life. John 3.16 on the kingdom. God wants all to have eternal life. That means to have life in the coming kingdom age when Jesus returns. Jesus spent three and a half years preaching and teaching about this kingdom. He spent his last 40 days on the earth after his resurrection talking about this kingdom. The kingdom must have been important to Jesus, and it must be important to us as well. It is not something that you want to miss or get wrong. The wages, or the result of sin, is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 6.23 There are consequences for sin, and we all have sinned. But we have a choice. John 3.16 and Romans 6.23 give us two choices. Life in the kingdom when Jesus returns, or 
death and complete and utter destruction in the lake of fire, and the memory of you perishes as well. Read and share John 3.16 in a new way now. Explain the complete gospel, the gospel of the kingdom.